It was such a wonderful graduation season for our seniors, but for one of them, getting to the graduation stage was uncertain over the past year due to a serious illness. But through perseverance, he made it, and he's extremely grateful. Last week, Green Hill High School senior Corbin Young practiced for his graduation ceremony while also thinking about the very challenging road he took to get there. If the chances were so low of me getting it, what are the chances of me also not surviving it? During the early part of last year, Corbin became seriously ill, so his mom took him to the ER at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. He was quickly diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And even though it was detected fairly quickly, a grueling treatment process would follow. How serious was this degree of diagnosis? So I really credit our doctors when I asked them that question. They said, we don't look at the statistics, we're focused on Corbin. But if you do look at the statistics, it has a 65% um, survival, five-year survival rate. So it's a lot more serious than like ALL, which has like an 85 to 90% survival rate really credit the doctors at Children's Vanderbilt Hospital for never really going to that statistic when it came to my treatment or my care. They really were just focused on me and how I was going to get to the next day through the next treatment through remission. In total, he received five rounds of chemo and had hospital stays that added up to four to five weeks, including the start of his senior year last August. He and his mom credit Green Hill High and his homebound teacher for all that they did to keep him on track. How difficult was that? Was the school very cooperative? Very accommodating, very accommodating, very helpful. Let me have extra time to get to classes, let me have an elevator pass, allowed me to wear hats in the building, which was very nice since I didn't have any hair at the time. Luckily, I have a full head of hair now, but that they were very accommodating. Miss Quisberg was very understanding of the situation and worked with me and my mom and my family to hash everything out so I could have the most comfortable come back into school. I have a tremendous gratitude towards that. We were actually connected with a homeschool teacher at Vanderbilt's Children's Hospital who then communicated, you know, this is at the very beginning, to Wilson County Schools and they assigned us a homebound teacher so it was able to keep Corbin on track and when he came back to school they were very accommodating. I think the first two weeks of school he only came back partial days. Um, they granted all the accommodations for him, understood that if he has a headache or yeah. anything, you know, they needed to pay attention to that right away and not go through the normal, you know, waiting cues to see the nurse. Um, I was very pleased. Last year, Corbin and his family received wonderful news that he was responding well to the treatments and he was in remission. Do you have any more last tests or checkups coming up? So when I first was diagnosed, they gave me the option to be part of a study because AML is the rare cancer for people under 18. So I signed up for a medical study where I have to go in more often to get my blood drawn so that they can store it, sample it, test it. And I, I just pretty much have blood tests for the rest, for five years, pretty much. And I'm, after that, I'm all good. Coming out of that dark place and into the light, Corbin, who maintained a near perfect GPA through all of this, would go on to earn a sizable scholarship from Western Kentucky University. And he'll start there on time in August. I am going to be focusing in business management with a focus in product line management. So just helping, basically just overlooking product lines and how they're shipped out to customers and how that whole process pretty much. We are very proud of him and um, he didn't mention this because he's pretty uh, humble, but he received a half scholarship to WKU, so it just wasn't um, admittance. So we're very proud of how he stayed focused and how far he's come. Corbin's determination to succeed through a very tough situation is something to be highly admired. He will never forget the experience he went through as he even wore a special orange ribbon at graduation signifying his battle with a form of leukemia, reminding him of the brave steps he took to get to that graduation stage. Just don't give up. <laughs> just, just do not give up. Giving up is the worst thing you can do. Just try. And even if you can't push hard, to just push yourself little by little and set small goals for yourself so you can, in the end, accomplish what you really want in the end and what is going to help you with your future and succeed. He made it. 
He battled leukemia, but conquered his senior year and graduation. We are so very proud. I'll see you. I'll text you when I leave. All right. Bye. Bye. With hands clasped and grateful for the outcome, this mother and son have so much to be thankful for. I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools.